Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. <laughs> it's the hottest day of the year. And I hottest day of record? In re I, don't, I do not intend on making this introduction last very long at all, so there's the XRS layer. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do that, we can't do that. Look, look at this idiot. I'm just He's hiding in the shade. I'm staying in the shade until you said, like, ready to go action, because, like, I'm not built for this weather. This was always the plan with this. We had a small window with these two cars together. We've got my car, which is V8 Urban Black, and we have our first white XRS. What a plate. Let's start with a plate. Yeah, so this is my customer, John. Um, He's he invested in a plate, and this yeah, is... Yeah, so cool. It's perfect, because this is number 44. Number 44, 44 XRS. Obviously his number. I'm getting a little bit of Star Wars vibes going here. Yeah, I know you're a massive Trekkie, so... He always does this. He winds me up. I like Star Wars. He calls it Star Trek. He's... <laughs> Don't show that on camera. So we've got Darth Vader, Darth Vader and Stormtrooper. Yeah. It's you awesome, right, isn't it? Mate. Yeah, well, do you know what? We do so many black cars and sometimes, I, I love a black car, but you do sometimes lose a little bit of detail. There's no missing any details on this, is it? Look at that bonnet, it's so aggressive. Yeah, you can see all of the carbon, um, obviously all four vents. Black cars, in our workshop, we've got 60 cars and 59 are black. Seriously? Yeah. We had this conversation yesterday. Why are English people so boring? Why can't you pick colours for a change? Everyone, I'll have black with black. Um, what about a colour? No, 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 I've got to think about resale. Everyone thinks about resale. Yeah. They don't think about the time that they're enjoying the car. But I, I, I kind of get it though, because if you get a black car and you wrap it, you know, the, the black cars are perfect cars to wrap because yeah, you don't have to worry so. about the door hinges, the it, like the engine bay and stuff like that. And then when you come to sell it, you take the wrap off and you've got a popular color to resell. So we kind of get it, but it's nice to see something different. It's nice to see something different. What do so people different. do when they've got a black car? They wrap it matte grey. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Uh, but the, uh, what uh, I'm trying to get at is this is amazing because it's just a little bit more out there. You can see all of the details of the car. I, I love it. It's beautiful. And, and Cam, if you can come over and get the reflection of the paint. So this is Yulong white, so it's a metallic white, but it's absolutely beautiful. And, and with the contrast against all the gloss black, the carbon, it's it's just perfect. It's a beautiful, beautiful spec. Um, and yeah, the customer has already seen it. We've already done a sort of handover for him and he absolutely loves it. He's over the moon. So one very, very happy owner. Um, right, let's get out of this heat. What we got going on this week? Tom, what's going on this week? Loads of cool stuff. Loads of cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got um, we've got a couple of T6s, haven't we? Um, and they're nice colours, actually. Yeah. Cool colours. Grey. I thought we had a blue. <laughs> right, so we very do actually crime. have one. That, I, I tell a lie. There's there's two colours in the workshop. One's Ravina Blue, which is a long wheel base T6. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. We'll get some rollers of that when it's done. Sweet. What else got going? What on? else we got, Tom? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Update on the tan interior, see how the progress is going at the trim shop. And then more of the normal yeah, antics. Yeah, just stuff. We've just got stuff. Because my hair's melting, my beard is about to fall off. Look, You're look. flagging now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I like that. No, I, I can that tell. First take. He's starting nah, to talk. First take now was drying up and everything. First take was done. We've done like, what's going on this look, week. Just, just watch, watch. Just yeah, watch. Just watch.
Guys, me again. Today I've got this lovely 6.1 California in. This customer has gone the whole hog. Carbon fiber body kit, naturally. This thing is ready to go away as well. This is a full on camper. He's got full carbon fiber body kit by us. It's got a nice gloss black contrast in with the front grille and the front badges. Matches the carbon fiber plate plinth holder as well. Customer's gone for our 20 inch WX2 wheels as well. Nice gloss black contrast with the Indian gray paint as well. We love a contrast at Urban. We've also got our satin black side tubes running all the way down along the side of the van. Nice lower aesthetic, bit of a chunky design. Running parallel to that, our Urban Works decal kit, naturally. Look at this, this customer is gonna love it. He's actually picking it up and he's gonna take it straight to go camping with his wife and his kids. He can't wait, he's so excited. I mean, it's the one to, one to do, isn't it? The one to get. If you're gonna go for it, go all out. Hob, sink, fridge. The roof obviously comes up as well to give you a lot more headspace and you've got a sleeping space in there as well. It's the way to do it. at the back we've got again full carbon fibre rear bumper quad tail pipes a lovely bit of gloss black contrasting through the bottom of the diffuser then up above we've got our roof spoiler lovely addition nice aggressive stance from the rear and look at that we can't forget the exterior awning wouldn't be complete without it would it Right everyone, it is a very, very exciting day. The journey of me getting my own urban part continues. And we've just received this back from our manufacturing centre. You say centre? That sounds cool, doesn't it? I like to call it a department. Oh, uh, manufacturing yeah. department. Yeah, okay. So I'm with Magic Mike. Um, and we're gonna just place this up against the car just to make sure that it fits okay. So Mike. Looks spot on to me. So though. this was um, taken from the mould of the RS4, wasn't it? So it's a little bit longer on the sides. Yes, yeah, so what we did, we used the pattern block off the RS4, yeah. retooled that, and then made this out of that. So this needs trimming down. You can see it's a little bit too long there. So Mike has marked up where it needs to be cut, and then we've got some 3D printed end caps for the splitter. So how will this be fitted, Mike? Uh, well, if you look at the part here, it's obviously got no holes in it at the minute, but no. what I'll do is I'll work out, I'll put the car on the ramp, work out what points I can fix to underneath there, yeah. drill the correct holes into this, and then just self tap her up into the bumper usually, because that's how we seem to fit everything else, and it works perfectly. So we're going to chop the ends off, then it's going to go through to the body shop to get lacquered. Yep, that's right. And then um, 3D printed end caps on the end. Yep and then up, drill through, and fitted, and one happy Lenny. Normal chaos in the workshop, but this has just arrived. Now, I've been waiting for this car for about nine months. Um, it's a D300 car. Customer wanted the seven seat option, and because of the components in the car, obviously with the supply shortages, we have been waiting ages. It's arrived, I'm excited, because it's gonna be one of our mega builds. First things first, I wanna show you the inside. So, interior. Customer wants full tan interior. So what we've done, we've ordered the factory vintage tan. We're gonna scrap all of the seats. Uh, customers having bucket seats, Recaro, like from our XRS program. We're gonna have the McCann bases and the Recaro back, but it's gonna have a full diamond quilt with perforation in the, the base and the, and the rear as well. 
rear seats are being done. Seven seats, we're not so sure yet because they are occasional seats and you do have to pull them up and down. So it may well be that we shouldn't really trim those in like a nice luxury bespoke trim. One thing we've noticed on the car, which I just, I physically cannot hand over this car without painting all of these silver bits black. You can kind of get away with it when you've got a black interior, but the steering wheel, which is gonna go tan, is gonna look terrible next to this gray. The dash panel defender, even the through the center console in gray as well. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to strip the entire door cards, dash, center console, steering wheel, everything is gonna have to come out and it's gonna go black. We're gonna do it as a bit of a surprise. They've been waiting a hell of a long time for their car. Yeah, it's gonna look really, really crisp on the inside. When all of this is tan and black, it's gonna look perfect. So that's that overview of the interior. As you can see, doesn't look great. This is going straight to the trimmers now, then it's coming back for its full wide track kit and wrap as well in a really, really, really cool color. Last few jobs we've had in, we've had, uh, I think it was a, well, it was a grey blue Tesla that Tesla went. Tesla Model 3. Model 3, yeah, that went matte metallic grey. Uh, we we'll just finished that one. Uh, then we've had a black Urus that went satin pearl white. That one's nearly finished as well now. We've just got to finish the pinstriping on it. And now we're on to this. SVR just going gloss khaki green um, and yeah should look good as well. I think our next few cars are... We Lambo. Have, yeah, a Lambo coming in next week. Hot, hot Rod Red. Um, and then we've got an SVR going matte green. Uh, we've got a few more Defenders after that. I think we've got an orange one, a couple green ones. So yeah, quite, quite a few jobs. Properly, properly busy. Rolling them up. What? I don't know, Cav likes wrapping satin black. I do not like wrapping satin black. That's I his favourite colour. My favourite colour that I've wrapped is probably the matte metallic blue Supra. That was a bad boy colour. That was a different one. Or the brown, size brown Urus. Or the RS6 Miami blue. Yeah, that was, that was a nice one. Yeah. What's the easiest car to wrap? It's going to be Land Rover Defender. Yeah, it's all day long. All day long, literally all day long. Get them in, get them done, get them out. Yeah, they're just, they're so easy to just take apart and wrap and then put back together. And they come in built, they leave built as an actual car. So it's just properly quick, easy, simple, just done. Doing with our eyes closed, can't we? Just like that. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's the challenge. That's the challenge coming up. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll do it. No. Morning, everyone. No, we don't need their cameras, mate. I've got my iPhone, ain't I? We're all good. Look. <laughs> so it's a Saturday, so the boys are, um, in the media team aren't here today. It's just me and Magic Mike, and we've got something very exciting. Well, exciting for me. A lot of people won't care, but I've been waiting a long time for this. 
I've been hounding you all week, haven't I, Mike? <laughs> so here is my E-Class Coupe 21 model year facelift split up, one of one. And uh, yeah, been lacquered by the body shop and um, it's going on today, so I'm very excited. Now we had to 3D print some end caps for it here just to finish it off. But look how perfect that is. Uh, Mike is, what are you doing Mike, you bonding them in? Man of um, man of few words, but he's just getting his stuff done. Anyway, he's, <laughs> I don't think he's a morning person, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure we're going to be all good anyway. Excited. I know, I know you so well by now that I know exactly what you're doing. Like, you literally, like this, it, it was this, like this smirk on your face, this little walk towards it, little sip of coffee, and I just know that. All I'm gonna say is I own part of your car. I, I how, own part. how does that work? Because that's my splitter. I've been waiting for this to happen, so basically I own, well, I a, I I own a share in Lenny's car now, which is fantastic. See, I look at it in a positive way, in the fact that I don't have an urban vehicle, but I haven't now finally, after seven years of working for you, I have an urban part on my car. But basically, when you sell this vehicle, yeah, it's like me exercising my investment in this vehicle, because when you sell it, I mean, just how so does that work knows, out? It's probably about three, so I've got a 3% company ownership in Lenny's just, vehicle. Just so everyone knows, this is my vehicle. Like, this, this, is my own pers this is my own personal car, no company car, no nothing like that. So this is my own car, I pay for this. So I seem to think somehow... I know I'm that... part of it. That's right, I do own part of it, don't you I? You know when you joked upstairs yeah. that you were going to stamp it off because we've got enough on going through building. Stamp I might do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I might just do that now. Looks good though, doesn't it? It does look good. I'm really happy with um, it. Can you take your car off my splitter, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, joking apart, it does look uh, it, do, it, it does look fantastic. Nice, simple design. Yeah, it I goes think, really well. It's not a sports car. It's not you know, it's not a performance no. car. But it just needed a little bit extra. And um, yeah, it's perfect. It's, it's subtle. If it's we just... don't sell any off the back of this, <laughs> you're in trouble, Mister. We didn't do it. We didn't do it for for sales, did we? You do everything for. Is there any? What is it? An e class? I should know that by now, shouldn't I? <laughs> is it an e class? It's a 21 model year E220 Mercedes E Coupe. But this is like a Rolex Daytona because there's only about six in the country, <laughs> isn't there? Literally, in this spec, there's about three for sale on Auto Trade at the moment. Oh, really? Like, I, yeah. I mean, without going into too much detail, I'm in a lot of equity in this car at the moment because there's none available. But you move that. So does that mean my share has gone up? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you move that problem on. It's like house prices. All house prices have gone up. Your house has gone up, but the house you want to move into has gone up as well. So it's all relative. Yeah, of course. I yeah. couldn't replace this. So no matter how much money equity I'm in, I, I might as well just keep it. I like it. Thank you. It's like a bit dirty, it. but it obviously gets used every day. In these side sills. Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Episode two of Lenny Splitter. <laughs> side skirts coming soon. <laughs> well. This is a little part of obviously this week's Urban Uncut, but Hi. we have, Tom, we're doing a special feature on this, aren't we? Well, yeah, we've already done it. Well, we're, we're going to be showing the special feature, so everything from design yeah. to 3D scanning yeah. to design to, <laughs> to... So you mean splitter design yeah. to mould design? Mould design. Yeah, so the design in the mould that the, the carbon fibre goes in. See, I, I still don't really know too much about the man. You've, you've gone through the process, he's gone through the process from beginning to end and he still doesn't understand. Not a goldfish. 
Oh God, it was very interesting. What is I... carbon fiber, Lenny? Exactly, I rest my case. He doesn't know. What is it? You even went over. Carbon, what, what is carbon? It's, it's a material. Of course it's, yeah, I know it's a material. <laughs> yeah, yeah like it's, So um, you went over to Rhodes yesterday and you basically built what? The, I have the... a newfound respect for this process. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, skill. Like, very, skill very, level's unbelievable. Very, very it? skilled. So yeah, it was really cool to see it um, from start to start to finish. Basically a big oven, isn't it? Yeah. Like a sausage roll, wrap it up, let's put it in, comes out. Yeah, done. Lenny's obviously simplifying the process that we do with an extremely skilled team. And you're obviously going to get a small featurette of him making the part and it it's going not, through no, the process. No, it's not small. It's fully detailed. What is it? Wednesday, Tom. In detail, Wednesday. So for those that didn't hear that, in on I think, Wednesday I think, in si detail. I think Si's probably still a little bit lemon that he, um, he spends about a quarter of a million pounds developing a kit for the Cullinan, but my brake caliper colour is still one of the highest viewed videos on the Urban channel. So yeah, Wednesday, yeah. When the <laughs> so Wednesday when the splitter video goes absolutely viral, <laughs> get my, get my own back now. I wasn't horrible in this feature. I was nice, I've complimented it. I've claimed ownership of 3% of your vehicle. I'll give, you a little drink. I'll give you a little drink when I eventually oh, set thanks, it. thanks, mate. So on that note, before we wrap up for the day, let's have a quick look around the workshop. What we got here then? Ravina blue. That's lovely, isn't it? It's a lot like, um, yeah. it's very estral blue, isn't it? It is very estral blue. This should have actually been done by now. Right. Painted the bumpers, shade weren't very good. Oh, really? Yeah. Hard colour to match. Um, we've got it right on the colour chart, but when you put when you put paint on aluminium and then you put paint on carbon fibre, it actually makes a difference yeah. to, to how it looks. I think this is basically how we got the match. It was like this blue and this blue. <laughs> really? yeah, that, yeah, it was. That far off, really? Oh, no, well, I'm joking, <laughs> obviously. No, but we but hung it up, to notice, put yeah. it out in the sun. Yeah, so this car should have been done by now. A couple of days delayed because we put it in tweak the formula slightly to bring it down in tone. So we'll match that, it all matches now. So this will be built. You'll see this in next week's video. Nice. First black badge. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. And this is a very, very high spec vehicle as well. Yeah, monster spec vehicle. Um, this was a customer that bought his car down for a set of wheels, saw the kit come out, decided on the kit. It's our fourth Cullinan going yep. through. Uh, we've currently got yeah four cars be four cars being built eight kits yeah eight kits gone out around the world making really good progress with that all right so you need to see this one this is very cool we've got another customer with a matching urban plate so uh, business and obviously urban this is me so dancing. my customer is collecting this today um, my customer Chris and he earns a dental equipment company. So, ah. Kiss Herb, how cool is that? So he doesn't own Kiss the radio station then? No, right? he doesn't. That no, would doesn't. be really cool. That, that would be, be really even cool, more cool than owning Kiss Dental. Is it Kiss Dental? It's related. No. No, because it's Kiss, isn't it? It's mouth dental related, so. We've had quite a few customers. Ciao. Uh, Can you like put some whole music on now just while he finish? <laughs> Oh, Five minutes later. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Apologies. As I was saying, <laughs> we've had quite a few customers now put number plates. Five uh, plates yeah, for the for the car. For the car. The coolest one, obviously, the handover earlier, which was 44 um, um, XRS. Yeah, yeah. Expensive plate for yeah, like yeah. Proud urban owners, which is yeah, fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's great that. that Obviously, the brand's got to a position now where people are really having confidence yeah, in investing yeah. in it and being proud to, to drive Absolutely. it. Yeah, this cool. is, this is a, this is This is a beautiful build as well. Um, Love satin black. You can't go wrong with satin black. And we keep saying it, the gloss black with the gloss arches, but the satin black just Straight running through the middle. middle yeah. uh, absolutely perfect. So this is going out today. And I think we're all caught up. That's about it. That is it. So yeah. thanks for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. See you next week.